Hello, welcome back to Chargebee 101. In this video, we are going to learn about configuring checkout and self-serve portal. Chargebee offers an easy-to-use plugin that allows you to set up your checkout and portal pages with no developer assistance. The checkout pages being PCI DSS compliant relieves you from the stress of maintaining security standards and allows you to focus more on your business. To implement this, you should have configured currencies, set up product catalog, payment gateway, and taxes. If you haven't configured them yet, please do watch the previous episodes of Chargebee 101. Checkout plays a crucial role in increasing the conversion rate from trial users to paid customers. Chargebee Checkout provides a smooth checkout experience for your customers while purchasing products or services from your site. Before we go ahead and learn about configuring checkout, you need to know what happens behind the curtain. The customer decides to purchase the product. Chargebee Checkout opens. The customer enters the account and payment information. The payment information is sent to the payment gateway for processing. If the payment is successful, then Chargebee creates a customer, subscription and invoice. The payment information is stored in the payment gateway for recurring payments. If the payment is not successful, then, a payment failure notification is displayed. The customer will have to verify the payment details and try again. When it comes to configuring checkout, you have two options. 1. API. Configuring checkout via API requires developer efforts. We request you to take a look at our developer documentation for that. The link to the docs is added in the description below. 2. Drop-in script. Let us now see how to configure checkout via drop-in script. Click. Settings. Configure charge B. Checkout and self-serve portal. You can configure the necessary settings for checkout from here. Click integrate with charge B. Select the plans and add-ons that you wish to pass. Next, open the HTML file of the checkout page that you have created for your site. Copy the header text and paste it in between the head tags. Copy the checkout button code and paste it in between the body tags where you want to have the button. This is how checkout will work for you. Once the customer makes the payment a customer record is created and a subscription is associated with it. Let us now see how to access the settings. You can customize your checkout settings from the configurations page. You can select the cards and fields to display in the checkout from the fields tab. You can edit the labels for each of these fields from the labels tab. Refer to our docs to know more. The customers need a portal to access their account details. This is where the self-serve portal comes into picture. Chargebee provides a seamless self-serve subscription management portal for your customers. Your customers can access their account information by logging into the portal. You can choose to integrate the portal in your website or any other application that allows you to add JavaScript. We are now going to see how to do this. Navigate to the Integrate with Chargebee page. Copy the header script and paste in the header section of your HTML page. Then paste the portal button code inside the body tag. 
This is how it works. You can configure or restrict the actions that your customers can perform using the self-serve portal settings page. To access that navigate to checkout and self-serve portal and click portal. Configure the necessary settings from this page and publish it. With this, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any queries, check out the need help section in the app. Coming up next, setting up email notifications.